it's not that no one knows about it, no one fishes it, but there's always a place where you can go and you will see no one all day. I think because uh, you get to live in a place that you grew up and you love and you get to know people from all over the world. They say, I wish I could do this more often. And I do it, you know, for 150 days a year. So I, I think I'm very fortunate I, that I can do that. Spring Creeks can require some serious wading and some serious hoppers of biblical proportions. These fish have a smorgasbord of bugs and lots of protein equals lots of fish, many of whom do not hesitate to inhale a big dry fly if well presented. Thick willows often line the banks of the river, allowing only a small slot for you to land the fly. upside is you get to fish big hoppers which often float pretty well they're easy to see and easy for the fish to see it's quite obvious when one moves five or six feet just to eat your bug Every now and then, you might encounter a fish of unexpected proportions. In these tiny desert spring creeks live some monster brown trout. There's endless variety of fishing in Patagonia. Although many anglers spend a majority of their time fishing rivers and spring creeks, the lakes can be home to the largest of fish. Using either a dry fly or a nymph, you can sight cast a cruising trout in the shallow flats along the weed beds. Almost like fishing for bond fish in salt water. So cool. Crystal clear water, um, untouched, and fish that are, are healthy and, you know, strong. And the fact that you can side fish from, you know, it makes it uh, really spectacular because you, uh, you're seeing this fish run and, and jump and and they're just so strong. You can be out there every single day and it'll be as exciting, you know. That's one of the reasons why we fish this. There's always a place where you can have a great day of fishing, no matter if it's really cold or snowing and raining or on a bright sunny day, fishing will be always, you know, great. When it was time to study, I had to choose a career and I decided to study biology. Now as a fishing guide, I use all that knowledge, uh, you know, just to catch more fish. Rather than using hard drift boats that require a trailer, a frame mounting system on the truck bed and an electric pump allow the assistant guide to quickly set up a raft and run a shuttle to the takeout. A six weight is the go-to rod setup, able to turn over big dry flies like the Gypsy King and the Chubby Chernobyl. You can also fish small bugs to a trout that is keyed in on a specific hatch. There's nothing like the visual hunt of finding a big rainbow trout sipping bugs around the willows. No tiene terruño, no hay 
paisajes suyos no tienen 